as a business user day in and day out we jump from one transaction page to another transaction page to complete a business task navigating from one page to another page and keying in search values then drilling into a transaction page takes time this is one scenario on the other hand when new users join the team is there any way to guide those users from the transaction page itself to the next step in the business process with some kind of contextual menu wouldn't it be nice to solve both of these use cases oracle introduced a framework called related content services let's talk about it in this episode hello everybody my name is siva khoya and in this episode i will introduce you to people soft related content services today's agenda i'll start by showing you a quick demo of related content and related actions which are the tools provided as part of related content services framework then we will go through the prerequisites required to leverage related content services framework next I will show you how to configure related content and related actions from the scratch. Finally, I will also show you how to migrate our configuration from one PeopleSoft environment to another PeopleSoft environment. All right, let's get started. Related content services in PeopleSoft can be configured either using related actions or related content. First, I'll show you a quick demo of how we can leverage related actions in order to do that i will navigate to purchase order component i will navigate to purchase order component search for an existing purchase order there are three ways we can configure related actions one is at the field level i am placing an order for this item before placing order for this item i want to know who manufactures this item in order to verify that i have to navigate to item definition component is there any way to navigate to item definition page directly from this page without doing any customization the answer is yes using related actions i already configured related action on this field which is represented by a red icon on the right hand top corner of the field in order to access our specific item definition i will right click on the icon then click on define item system directly takes me to the item component without entering any search field values from here i can access item manufacturers this is one way to configure related action i will navigate to my purchase order component the second way to enable related action is to tie our related action to an existing menu for example on my page here I see a menu called actions and I can tie my related action to this specific menu. If I click on actions as you can see related action of navigating to supplier hierarchy is already configured. I can navigate to supplier hierarchy page by clicking on this link. As you can see this is our supplier hierarchy page. This concludes the second way of configuring related actions on our page. Now let me show you the third way of configuring related actions. In order to show you that, I will navigate to define billing plan page. Let's assume it is the job of the biller to come here, verify the details are correct and change the billing status to ready. After making it ready, he need to navigate to a page where he can run a batch process. Instead of biller navigating to that page, we can enable a related action he can directly navigate to that process by clicking on the processes process other billing methods and run the process right from this transaction page this is again configured using related actions this concludes related actions now i'll show you how we can leverage related content on our application pages in order to do that i will navigate back to our purchase order page if you have noticed in case of related actions we are always navigating to a different page to perform our actions but with the help of related content we can project content right on our transaction page itself let me show you what i mean 
if I click on Actions menu, this portion of the Actions menu is configured using Related Actions. The second portion of the Actions menu, all the links under Related Information are configured using Related Content. Let's fire up one of these links. If I click on Recent Purchase Orders, we can view most recent purchase orders for our supplier right on our transaction page from another component. Likewise, we can pull all overdue purchase orders on our transaction page from a different component. If you are interested to know that component name, Control Shift J, as you can see, it is pulling data from another component. We can display related content on the bottom portion of our page or towards the right hand portion of our page through configuration. Once you are done, either we can close our related content or you can open the same content in a new window by clicking on this link. I'll go ahead and close my related content portion of my page by clicking on this link. All right, this concludes the demo portion of my tutorial. Now it's time to get our hands dirty and practically configure our related content as well as related actions from the scratch. If you are accessing PeopleSoft application using an URL, having IP address, something like this, related content configuration will not work for you. In order for related content configuration to work, URL must contain authentication domain. Let me show you how to configure authentication domain on your web profile. I logged into my PeopleSoft application. Now I will navigate to web profile configuration page. People tools, web profile, web profile configuration. I will open my active web profile configuration for this environment. And this is where we specify the authentication domain. Basically, authentication domain should be part of PeopleSoft web server URL address. Once we have configured authentication domain, we have to save this page. After we bounce our web server, our authentication domain will be active. We have one more required step to enable related content. In order to show you that I have navigated to node definition page, you have to open all your active nodes, ensure that we have proper URLs configured for content URI text as well as portal URI text. I didn't have to manually populate this URI text. All these are automatically populated during my PeopleSoft installation process. So if your related content is not working, ensure that these URLs are properly configured without any IP addresses. This concludes prep work for our related content configuration. All right, folks, it's time to do the fun part. Like I said in the beginning, no developers need to be involved to configure related content services. The changes that we do will not fall under customizing our PeopleSoft application, so no upgrade headaches. With that said, let's begin. Now I'm going to navigate to purchase order page where I'm going to show how to add related action. I clicked on navigator and navigated to menu, purchasing, purchase orders, add update PO. Let's search an existing purchase order if I click on it. As you know, we add items to our purchase order. Let's assume buyers requested a capability to navigate to item setup page by clicking on item. You might be thinking we can add a hyperlink, but that's a customization. Now I'll show you how to accomplish this task using related actions. In order to configure any related actions, we need to navigate to manage related content services page. I'll go ahead and navigate to that page. You can navigate to that page by clicking on people tools, portal, related content services, manage related content service. If our page has already existing related content services configured, we can quickly search for that page using page label. I'm searching for ours. As you can see, our page is purchase order page. I'll click on edit button. This is where we configure related content, which I'm going to show you in the next part of our demo. For now, we are going to configure related actions. So I will click on configure related actions page. Since we plan to configure related action on this specific page, I have selected page level related actions. 
I will add a new row to the grid and I will select our PO page. I believe our page name is PO line. Service, I will select content reference because I want to navigate to a different page after clicking on related actions menu. If you want to navigate to a page rate, you select page rate. Or if you have any custom logic coded in app packages, then you can select service. For now, I will keep it simple and select content reference. Now I will click select where I want to navigate. So I want to navigate to item page. So I'll select item, define items and attributes, define item page. And here you select if you want to open your content in a new window, you can select new window. If you want to open item component in model window, you can select a model window. In my case, I will select new window and I will select configure. And this is where you pass the search values. Either you can pass a fixed value, for example, share, or you can pass a page field value from our current purchase order component. So, and select which field value you want to pass to our item component. Let me search for INV item ID. Here we go. I will select our item and where you want to add our related actions menu. I can select which specific field. Again, I will select INV item ID. That's it. I will click OK and save my changes. This concludes related actions configuration. Let's go ahead and test our changes. Let's search for an existing purchase order. As you can see, there is a red icon indicating there is a related action configured for this specific field. In order to access related content, I will right click on the red area and here you can see related actions menu. I can navigate to this item by clicking on that link and likewise I can navigate to other items as well by right clicking on the mouse and clicking on define item component and navigating directly to that specific item. That's it guys. This is how easy it is to configure related actions. Now let's do something interesting. Remember I showed you in the beginning we can associate our related actions and related content to a actions hyperlink. If you are curious how to add actions hyperlink on the page that doesn't have it, for example, on our item definition page, let me show you how to do it. This is the portion that you need developer support. All I did was inserted hyperlink on my page and associated our hyperlink with a derived work record field. I have also selected hyperlink type as action widget. That's pretty much it. As you can see, based on my changes, actions menu popped up on my page and we can add related actions and related content to this actions menu. Let me show you how to do it. Just like last time, in order to add related content services, I will navigate to manage related content service page. To add related content services on our item definition page, I will scroll all the way to the bottom and select assign related content to an application page. Then I will navigate to our item definition page. Items, define items and attributes, define item. Let's assume one of the requirements is we want to display all different kinds of unit of measures for this item at the bottom of this page. We can achieve this task by configuring related content. Let me show you how. In order to do that, it's pretty easy. I want to do page level related content. I need to select the page definition and we can easily get our page definition control shift j and this is our page definition and i will search for our page definition then the service is content reference now i will select the page that displays items unit of measure items define items and attributes then define item uom next i will click on configure button here i need to pass the search values I will select key field values because item component has set ID as key, likewise item ID as key because these are the two keys to open item UAM component. Next we need to provide the page field from which user can access item UAM. Here I will select our newly added actions menu. I will click OK and save our changes. Now it's time to test our changes. Let's search for another item. If we select actions, now if I click on item UAM, 
you can see all different kinds of unit of measures for our particular item right on our item definition page. That's it guys. This is how to configure related content. Now let's add one related action to the same actions menu. For the sake of this demo, let's assume as part of the business process, user usually navigates to inventory put away page after viewing the item. I'm just making this up. Let's see how we can add this related action to our actions menu. I will navigate back to assign related content service, navigate to configure related actions. Now I will go ahead and select the same page. Let me copy the page from our previous related content configuration. I'll go ahead say this and I want to select a page which is inventory uh, put away page. So I will navigate to inventory put away stock express put away. I want to open in the new window. I will select new window. Next I will select configure and I will select the menu which is our actions menu. I will click OK and save our changes. Now this time I will add some context to our menu navigation. In order to do that I will navigate to configure layout, configure layout and here I will I can add a new folder. I will add a new folder. I will say step number two in the business process. I will click OK. Then I will select move to folder and I will select step two. I will click OK. So likewise you can configure step three, step four and step five to guide business user what will be the next step after you visited this transaction page. I will click OK and save our changes. Let's test our changes by reopening our item component. This is how our actions menu is transformed into. After visiting this page, there is a guidance to the user. He need to navigate to this page and perform the second step of business process. Likewise, you can add multiple steps. I can navigate to express put away page by clicking on the link. I hope you got my point. This concludes my demonstration. As far as migration is concerned, Oracle provided several data sets which we can leverage to migrate our related content and related action configuration from one PeopleSoft environment to another PeopleSoft environment. As you can see, there are like seven data sets provided by Oracle to migrate our RCF configuration. You can easily filter our specific configuration in each one of these data sets by using portal object name as a filter while inserting objects into data migration workbench project. If you feel some of the objects do not belong to your change, please do not include those objects as part of your data migration workbench project. That's all I have to say about related content migration process. This concludes related content services tutorial. Thank you for staying with me till the end. Don't forget to hit that like button if the content was helpful for you. For more interesting videos, please subscribe my channel. Have a great day. I will see you soon.